How are you guys doing? My name is Des Solo, and this is behind the scenes of me. What first got me into music? Oh man. Well, honestly, if, if I'm being really honest with myself, I feel like music has always been a part of me, but I guess being born in Venezuela and then having family that was really into music really wrapped me into that world. And it's, I, I just been writing songs for the longest, honestly, uh, since I was like four. So as I got older, I got more into music and I just wanted to do it more and yeah, I guess that's how it started guys. Who inspired me to make music? Can I say me? I'm just kidding, no. Um, honestly, it's, it's one of the biggest things that happened in my life was listening to College Dropout when it came out. You know, I remember burning a CD back, back in the day, Lamwire days. I know you guys know what I'm talking about, you know, getting getting some computer STDs, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows what I'm talking about. But anyways, I, I, I grabbed that um, album when it came out and I burned it and I listened to it. And, and right when I listened to it, I knew it was something different. And after that, I just felt like, man, if Kanye West can be this creative, why can't I be creative? So it just kind of snowballed from there and I just started creating music. How can I describe the music that I typically create? Wow. Um, creative. I just have to say, I think it's creative. I think that the music that I make is different and I try not to copy anybody. And maybe it, sometimes it comes out because, you know, there's so much music out there that you're, you're bound to sound like somebody. Does that make sense? But I just try to make music that's creative and that really calls into me that I love to make that has some message. So yeah, I, I guess you can just say that it's just creative, something new, something that I, I love to do that I wanna share with people, yeah. What is my creative process like? Well, for this album, it was really different um, just because I, I'm just one person. I'm doing this all by myself. Uh, so what I did for this album, for the music they're about to hear and, and a lot of these songs was finding the right instrumental, the right beat. So literally I took over like hundreds of hours just listening across the internet, trying to find a producer that I really enjoyed. And then after I, I honestly, when I find an instrumental or a beat or a producer or somebody that I really want to work with, um, it just comes to me. The music just comes, the lyrics, it comes like that. Sometimes it comes throughout months, weeks, Sometimes it just takes 30 minutes to make and it's just a beautiful thing when that happens uh, But it's very rare when it does happen, uh, but I'm always hoping for it So yeah, that's my creative process for this album at least that's that's what I do I just I look for the great music. I write it and then I engineer it. I record it and It's just really straightforward How I do things yeah Who would I like to collaborate with? Um, at the moment, I feel like nobody. Just because I feel like I need to get better. I feel like I need to find myself even more now that I am uh, or who I am right now. I, I just feel like I need to work on who I am more as an artist so I can fit better with other artists. Uh, Cause right now I'm, I'm in a developmental stage, so to speak, and. It just, I, I just feel like it's a little unfair with other people that I, I give them that. That I have worked with other artists. I'm not gonna say that I haven't, um, but right now I'm holding off doing more projects with other people just because I really solely want to focus on me and the projects that I'm making. So, if I could open a show for any artist, you know, honestly, for me, uh, this this was a tough one because I I like music that's different, but one of my favorite artists that I love it has to be like John Billion. And that'd be awesome. I mean, that that'd be a great thing. I've been to a couple of his shows, you know, earlier in, in the earlier years that he was doing his stuff, and 
I mean, that would be a dream come true just because I've just been a fan for so long. So, I mean, if you're watching this, you already know. The solo's ready. Let's do it. One message that I will give my fans. Um, be patient. Just be patient, I guess. Uh, I'm not really good at doing social media and all that stuff. Just because I'm so busy creating. And then on top of it, I have to make sure I make videos. And, and, and do marketing. And then do videos like this for you guys. So it's be patient. Be patient. I might not post a lot uh, until I get there in my career. In that step that I can hire somebody full time. Just be patient with what I post and, and the lack of. Because I know a lot of people, they, they post, 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 but maybe the music is not where it should be. I'm trying to focus on the music and then focus on everything else. Because if the music is not there, then, then there's nothing, right? But yeah. What is the most useless talent I have? I mean, I feel like most of my talents are pretty useful. Um... Ah, that's, that's a hard one, honestly. I I don't even know. I feel like a lot of stuff uh, that I learned in the army, I'm never going to do again. So a lot of that stuff is kind of useless, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just never going to do some of that stuff ever again. So I, I guess you can say that. You know, a lot of army stuff and a lot of things that I don't want to know about anymore, even think about. Uh, so yeah, that's a lot of useful, uh, useless stuff that... I, that I know that I don't care about anymore. Do I sing in the shower and what song? I, you know, I feel like when I'm in the bathroom in the shower, I'm taking a shower. I don't like getting soap in my mouth. I'm just saying, that's just me. You're probably thinking that, hey, you know, why are you getting soap in, in your mouth? Maybe you got a bigger problem. But I'm just saying, it's that if this happened to you, then you know. So, yeah, I don't sing in the shower, take a shower. Wow, what would I be doing right now if it wasn't for my music career? Well, pretty much, I'd be probably living life just like anybody else, I'm just saying. Um, but I would probably be in business, doing something, or in the army like I used to be. Because honestly, I really like the army, and I like business. So doing business in the army is my thing. So maybe that's what I would be doing, but honestly, I don't know. Uh, just owning a business or doing something that I love other than this. I don't have that much other things that I love as much as music, so it's hard for me to even plan if that makes sense. How do I feel about the internet and the impact it has, or has, had in the music business? Um, honestly, I don't think it's been bad. I, I, I think the problem is, is that there's not much education when it comes to doing music. So everybody just wants to do it. So there's just a lot of stuff out there that, that might not sound as good as it should. Uh, but I think it's been great. I think the internet has been amazing for the music business. For the first time ever, we can collab with other people across counties, countries, around the world, and we can make beautiful music that otherwise we couldn't. So I think it's a blessing. Yes, you know, there's a lot of things that brings, that brings, there's a lot of things that the internet brought to the music business that a lot of people don't like. But there's more good than bad, and it really outweighs the bad. So yeah. Which famous musicians do I admire? Um, I love a lot of the oldies. And when I'm talking about oldies, probably not what you think. I'm not talking about the 80s. I'm not talking about the 90s. I'm talking about classical music. I love classical music. You know, I like the Bach. Uh, I like Bach a lot. I don't know. For some reason, I like Bach. It just always something about Bach and the way that he he writes his music and the cellos and the concertos. It's something beautiful, and, and I really appreciate how they were able to move music in a direction that now we have what we got. So 
I, I just love old school music. I, I love the classical stuff because I, I, to me it's the most beautiful. Yeah. What is the best advice that I've ever been given? Um, I don't think, I'm, look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think that I've been giving or been given that much advice that has been really that good. And I'm just being honest, but I will tell you one thing. And it's something that I came to, nobody told me this, but I, I came to the conclusion that happiness is relative. And that's the most important thing that you can learn in life, that happiness is relative. And for others having a lot of things or having less things or how they're living their life, it doesn't matter how anybody lives their lives as long as they're happy. And if they're happy, then that's fine, you know. And a lot of people get that misconstrued when they're trying to build relationships or having relationships with their spouse, coworkers, whoever, strangers. Uh, they want people to do things that they want to do what they think but I, I feel like happiness is really relative and if there's one advice that I can tell anybody is that you know don't worry about anybody else's happiness worry about yours and, and go for that what makes you happy you know like what makes me happy is music so that's what I do so what do you want to do if I can change anything about the industry what, what would it be um, I honestly think the one thing that I would change, because it's not much, um, the main thing is that artists would be more creative. And, and when I say more, be, be creative, it's not like do more or be crazy or anything. It's just be more authentic with themselves. Like, don't, don't copy other people. Don't, don't do this and that just because that's what you hear and, and that's what you think that there's a commercial appeal. I, I feel like most music didn't have a commercial appeal. It became commercial when people liked it. Uh, but if it did, if it doesn't exist, then people can't like it. And I feel like we're missing out on so much amazing music that people have to write, but they're so stuck on writing what everybody else is writing about and doing music and, and, and making it sound like everything that's sounding right now because they're so worried about getting that instant gratification of getting that like and you know instead of building something more real more sustainable something that people can connect more with that's what i would change guys What's next for me? Well, honestly, just make more music, guys. I'm gonna make more music. I'm gonna help other artists out. I'm, I, I'm just trying to build something special so I can help people. And I'm, I'm just gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna continue doing music and I'm gonna continue to try to help other artists out and just help other people in general that wanna listen to me. And thank you guys for coming with me in this journey and knowing a little bit more about me, who I am, the solo, so now, if you have any questions, guys, go in the comments. Leave me a message. Whatever you want. I'll try my best to get back to you. Peace.